I'm live now. This is a little embarrassing. I technically haven't finished the the parade street. <laughs> I forgot I technically hadn't finished it. So embarrassing. A little awkward. My bad. My fault. <laughs> Let me send out some links. Yes, yes, yes. Texas in chat and says yo <laughs> uh. Yergi's popping in to say hi and have a good stream. Thank you, Yergi. Hi, Vin. Hi Devon Crates, welcome to the stream. Are when in any Discord? Uh if you're asking if we're in any Discords, um no, I don't really I don't have us in a Discord. Oh yes, NJ's live as well. Um thank you for streaming with me, NJ. Uh you are of course always welcome to stream with me at any time. Hi Zoe. <laughs> we are just getting the last minute preparations done. I should have had this all done sooner, but I do have a day job, unfortunately, and I can't always make time for all the things I want to make time for. It's unfortunate, but true. Uniform. Yes, hi Zoe. Vin asks, can we spectate in game even if we don't participate? Well, I would sooner welcome people to come in if they want to be participating, um, but people can uh, hop on the server if they're whitelisted on Joe's Patreon server to come and spectate. It's just more fun to participate, I think. Because, you know, the more the more the merrier. And the more people building little floats, then the better the parade is.
Quail's in chat. Hi, Quail. <laughs> Tegzy says, I have no idea what I will build. See, the fun part is you can you can build whatever you like. It's 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 your floats for this parade. You can you can build whatever makes you happiest. <laughs> Flower fields float. Oh, see that's a lovely idea. I don't know how floats work. Um, really, it's just you have the, the, the flat part of the car, I guess, with the wheels, and then you put whatever you want on top. <laughs> it's like a cake. You can decorate it however you like. And because it's in Minecraft, you don't have to worry about gravity. <laughs> Root beer float. Yes, you could do a root beer float if you like. <laughs> Teamwork. Yes. Really, all the hard part of the the street was was done. It's just the the little bit of finishing off the walls. A giant high sign. That sounds perfect for Vin. <laughs> and Jay made it. Okay, so. So long as everybody is here in this general area, we, we can get started soon. If Miss Zoe would like to let me participate, that would be wonderful. Yeah, any commands would have been helpful in this situation because then I could have had this done a lot sooner, but that's okay. We work with the tools we're given with. Here, Quail. Oh, thank you, Liara, for the raid. I hope everyone had a great time at Liara's stream. What were you guys up to at Liara's stream? Did you have fun? Anything exciting? Block sounds and raid beep are very loud. Okay, so is everything else loud and I'm quiet? Oh. Marco Zita, thank you for the follow. All the sound effects are way up and I'm quiet. Um, does that make it any better? Uh, I can make it quieter. Dobbs31, thank you for the follow. I should share the Tiltify link. Excellent point, Lord. Thank you. Um, so anybody who's here for the first time, welcome to my stream. Um, today we are doing a build contest. It's a pride parade theme. So here we have a nice big stretch of, of land. It's the street with a little sidewalk included. Um, so everybody who's participating, um, 
Oh, Liara says, I need to get some rest, but I remembered you were doing this and I thought I'd drop peeps off with you. Well, thank you so much, Liara. Enjoy your sleep. I hope you had a lot of fun. Okay, so everybody who's participating in the build contest, just, you know, pick a spot, whichever you like best. It doesn't actually matter. They're all the same size and everything. It's just the walls are decorated with different pride flags. Um, if anybody's... Oh, goodness. Give me one second. Okay, so going down the line of the street, here we have the, um, some people call it, ooh, Zoe, please. <laughs> Hang on again. <laughs> Sorry. I heard a noise. Hang on. <laughs> I'm very all over the place if you couldn't tell. <laughs> not Space donates $20 and says, Hi, it's Not Space. <laughs> Thank you so much for donating, Not Space. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. So, um, watching the stream is, of course, okay. Um, I mean, we're, we're just here to have a good time. Everyone can do pretty much whatever they want as long as you're being appropriate and, and kind. As long as you're treating everyone nicely, that's all I can ask for. I'm going to walk, I'm going to well, fly through, uh, show off the flags a little bit. Um, we will probably actually start building uh, at 15 past 7 for me. So that's in about two minutes, a little, a little under two minutes. So make sure you all have your, your, your spots picked out. <laughs> NJ says she's happy with any plot if there's a particular wall that you identify with. She doesn't want to take any of that from any of you. Thank you, NJ. That's very kind. So starting here on the left, we have, um, it's it's just a, your standard rainbow flag, I guess. Uh, it, can, it can be used for gay pride, um, but really it's more of an umbrella flag. Anybody who chooses to identify with the LGBTQ plus spectrum uh, can use this flag. It's, it's a flag for everyone. Next, we have the lesbian pride flag. Um, most of the flags aren't very accurate, unfortunately. Minecraft only gives us so many colors to work with, so we do our best here. <laughs> Michael Sox says, same as NJ, I'm just here as an ally. Everybody is welcome to this. Um, I don't want anybody closed off from the community. I welcome people who identify on the LGBTQ plus uh, spectrum and people who are just allies here to show support. I love everybody who's coming out to have a great time with us. <laughs> What is the sign for? Is there a sign somewhere? I hadn't realized there was a sign somewhere. <laughs> okay. Signs are for labeling your plot. Oh, that's an excellent point. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> okay. Next, we have the bisexual pride flag. Um, it's, it's a pretty good flag. I like it. Uh, the colors, again, aren't too accurate. Uh, we try our best here. <laughs> Okay, and here we have the trans flag. Um, the trans flag is my favorite flag for possibly obvious reasons. <laughs> Vin is asking for the cords. We are at about 2200, negative 300-ish, just, just roughly around that area. Trans is the most accurate flag, I'd say so. <laughs> we, could, we can only <laughs> do so much. And uh, Next we have um, the asexual pride flag. Um, it's, I like the flag on, I, I like the flags that have like nice gradients and colors, but all the flags are great flags. Next we have the aromantic flag. Oh, I heard another noise. Oh 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mark donates 304.86 and says trans rights are human rights. Yes. Thank you so, so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> trans rights are human rights. Oh my God. Thank you so, so, so much, Mark. I hope you're somebody I, I know in the community. I, I don't quite recognize the name, just Mark, but thank you for coming to the stream. Thank you for donating. Thank you so, so much. Oh, that actually meets our milestone. Oh, no. <laughs> Every stream I do, I meet the milestone. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to run out of goals. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Oh, I should... Um, uh, we are 15 into 7, so um, anybody who wants to, to start building their floats, go right ahead. Um, we are, we are, we do have a timer on this, so by 9, 9 o'clock my time, that's in an hour or 43 minutes from now, um, we will have to have things wrapped up. So, um, you know, if you want to make sure your float gets finished, you better start building. <laughs> uh, thank you to Sora Girl for the follow. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that threw me off. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, where was I? <laughs> um, here we have the pansexual pride flag. Um, it's another one of my favorite flags, uh, mostly because I, I identify with it. Tommy processing noises. Yes, correct. <laughs> um, next, we have the non-binary pride flag. The non-binary pride flag is very good. Did you start yet? Uh, technically, yes, the contest has started now. Um, you don't have to start if you don't want to, but unfortunately, that only hinders your, your own building process. Uh, okay, this <laughs> this plot makes me upset because the middle had to be one extra wide in the middle, so it, it's a little thrown off. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> um, but this is the agender pride flag. Um, another good flag. And then the last, but certainly not least, we have the gender fluid pride flag. Um, so technically the flags are orientated a little bit weirdly. Um, they were meant to be looked at from the outside. So if you're looking at them from the inside, they, they, they are in fact rotated a bit wrong. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I'll be flying around watching everybody as they as they you know build their floats. Um, anyone able to get the creative only light block? Um, I think we we need commands for that, and unfortunately nobody here has access to commands. So unless it already exists in the world, um, we can't really do it. Um, can I join in? Like, yes, everyone is welcome to join in. Um, you can take as much or as little time as you need to build your floats so long as we're all done. Uh, roughly 8.30 my time, so that's in about an hour, 11 minutes. We are probably going to uh, have the timer stop for building, and then we're going to have the last half hour of the stream be for judging. We'll go by everybody's plot one by one. Um, everyone can say a little something about their float. And, and it'll be great, I think. So far we have lots of people already off to a great start. I love seeing everyone's different approaches. Um, Stellar Spider, we don't have access to command, so unfortunately I cannot TP anybody. Cosmo says you can get the light block through the save toolbar from single player. And hi Cosmo, it's good to see you. NJ, yes, we have started. Quail asks, are we playing on the 1.17 pre-release? We are on 1.17 pre-release 1. Um, we would have updated the server further, but I had started preparing the plots before the other, the newer updates came out. So we're just, we're going with what we have. I heard another noise. Oh, goodness. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Lance donates $500 and says, good luck with the rest of the month of streaming. You were doing a good job. Oh my God. Mr. Lance, thank you so much. I always see you around the all all the different communities, Joe's community, NJ's community. 
It's wonderful to see you. Thank you so, so much to donating to Trans Lifeline. Oh my. I, I have no words. Everybody has been so incredibly kind to me in the very few days I've been streaming so far. And everyone has shown so much kindness and support. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. I didn't even have time to update the milestone yet. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, 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 so much. This really does mean a lot to me. Oh my goodness. I really cannot thank everybody enough. Even even just showing up to the stream and just, just chilling with us, just vibing with us, that already means so much to me. Because that shows you, you're here just to support us. And, and to everybody who's donated, thank you again. I... I'm gonna sound like a broken record player because all I can say is thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I had to mute for a second. Oh, I promise I'm trying to view everybody's everybody's floats. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Zoe is celebrating with me. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. How many people? We have there are some people who aren't here who said they would be joining. I'm going to just send them a quick message in Discord. See, see if they're still interested in joining us. Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry about that. I wish I had command access because then I would just keep it daytime and so people aren't building in the dark quite literally. Oh, and when when you are done with with your build, um there are in fact little mechanisms back behind the walls. Um when you're finished, you can just give the lever a flip and That'll be how we do our big reveals. The walls will come down and then everybody can show off their floats to each other. You know, I realized I didn't set an orientation for this, so hopefully everyone's floats are <laughs> pointed in the same direction. Um, <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> Goodness gracious, <laughs> I have to update the milestones. I'm gonna try to get as high a view as I can of everybody. There's so many people here, woo. I heard another noise, oh no. <laughs> Hang on. Cosmo donates 11.11 and says, ah! <laughs> I agree completely, Cosmo. Thank you for donating. Just one big scream. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh goodness, goodness, goodness. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> I said, oh. Thank you, Mr. Lance, for the follow. And thank you again so much for your donation. That was so, so kind of you. Thank you. Okay. New milestone, 2000, which we're already <laughs> very close to. Uh, I don't want to set them too high because then I feel like that's a little unfair. Um, but the next milestone is a 12-hour stream. We just reached our 8-hour stream milestone. Um, 
I, <laughs> if we make it to 2000, I am out of ideas for milestones, unfortunately. So I, I will be open to suggestions. <laughs> Whatever the community would like to see from me, I will do my best to provide. Thank you, Heroin, for the follow. It's good to see you. I'm really loving all the different approaches I see going on so far. Cosmo, thank you for the follow. Anybody who's in the chat and isn't already following, feel free to drop a follow. I'll be streaming every day for the month of June. It is for charity, if that wasn't already clear. Um, I will drop the donation link in the chat really fast. And even if you're unable to donate, that's okay too. Um, Joe Hills is hosting the stream with one viewer. Thank you, Joe, for the host. And Heather Kelly, thank you for the follow. That is my Discord link. Feel free to come on down to the Discord. Anybody can join so long as you're 13 plus. That's uh, according to Discord's rules. Um, yeah, but everyone just kind of hangs out there. We all have a good time. We talk a lot. We joke a lot. It gets kind of chaotic at some times, but I feel like that's part of the fun. <laughs> we are... a almost half hour into the stream so far um so that's pretty good we will be stopping the building in one hour so everyone's got roughly an hour to have their builds done if you do finish your float early um you're more than welcome to help decorate the landscape this is supposed to be like a main street so if you want to go up alongside the sidewalks you could do like a fake building front that would be pretty cool uh obviously that's not a part of the actual building conscious though so there's no obligation to do that. That's just in case, you know, you finish early, you get a little bored, you don't want to, you know, wander around, do nothing. Thank you, Rhino23, for the follow. Welcome. I don't think I've seen you around before, so thank you for following. I, I don't want to, you know, stay on one spot too much, but I also want to be able to make sure we can see everybody's uh, float being borked on. <laughs> You can always just zoom in a little bit one by one, I suppose. Oh, oh I heard another noise. Okay, hang on. I wasn't ready. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, Heroin, for donating $50. His comments is ants. Ants. Ant-Man. <laughs> uh, scoof. Scoofty? I'm sorry if I say your name wrong. Uh, if I do say your name wrong wrong when reading them out loud uh feel free to correct me in the chat uh i know what it's like to be called the wrong name unfortunately so i will always 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 correct myself <laughs> scoofed <laughs> yes sorry if you'd like to correct me please 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 do <laughs> because he's called ant-man not can't man <laughs> hi darth worthen welcome to stream <laughs> i hope you had a great day today <laughs> Scuffity is the best way I can spell it out. Oh, Scuffity. That's cute. Unless it's Scoofity. No? <laughs> oh, no. Not Scuffid. Okay. Is it Scoofid? Scuffed? Just Scuffed or Scuffed <laughs> <laughs> I, I do apologize. The last. The last helps me not because I don't remember what I literally just said. <laughs> Scuffy. 
I did have a good day, and I am enjoying your server. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Darth Vorthin. Yes, for anybody who um, didn't know, um, I have been streaming off my Minecraft server. It is a whitelisted server. Uh, if you donate $10 or more to Trans Lifeline, you do get whitelist access to the server. Everyone's been playing there and having fun. Um, anybody who was here during yesterday's stream would know how crazy it can get. <laughs> I love seeing just how how different everyone's approach is. Just oh, see, Vin is doing something real cool. Not surprised. NJ's approach is lovely. I I never would have thought to go with these block choices. I love that. The fence gates are a little concerning, <laughs> but I will trust Desire Fire's process. Oh, I like what Rubrik's doing. Desire is just scared of monsters, honestly. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> oh, Tegzy is up to a very lovely float. As is Melons, who also has a little spider problem, but that's fine. We can have a parade for spiders, too. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Spiders are people too. You're technically not wrong, but you're also quite wrong. <laughs> Everyone has just got such great floats going on. I, I love seeing how people build and just the different ways creativity can come out in Minecraft. It's wonderful. Lore says spiders are homophobic. Um... I don't quite think that's true, but I understand the feelings behind it. <laughs> Anime Barrel, thank you for the follow. Hi, how was your day? I hope you've been having a lovely day so far. Spider Dance. Spider Dance is a great song. It is part of the Undertale OST, I believe. Uh, one of my favorite songs, actually, from that game's OST. <laughs> it is a song, yes. I didn't realize you were just saying Spider Dance. <laughs> Sorry. Chat, I'd like to hear more about your day. <laughs> Tell me what's been going on. Are you guys excited for the weekend? Do you have any good plans? Darth Forthen says, wait, 15K has been raised so far? Wow. Wow barely begins to cover it. Um, I This is day four of streaming, and I've already, like, flown by my expectations. I, I had set my original goal to be 100 because that was the lowest setting I could set it to and I was not confident at all I would reach that because um, I I don't have a large following behind me. You know, I'm not some famous uh, internet person like a lot of people. Um, I just stream for fun with my friends usually uh, and I wanted to, to do something a little different. I wanted to help give back to the community that has been so kind to me. So that's why I decided to take the month to stream. I can get into that more topic, uh, get into that topic more on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday I will be playing on Sh Shamblecraft. It is a server owned by a mutual friend of mine and NJ Coffee Junkies. His name is Fally, uh, Real Fally. He is quite the lovely person. He also creates like YouTube videos and I would highly recommend his channel. Um, but yes, on Tuesday, 7 p.m. CST or 8 p.m. EST, NJ Coffee Junkie and I will be 
taking a little tour on Shamblecraft. She's going to show me around, show me all the fun sights to see. And she is also going to be interviewing me a little bit more on Trans Lifeline and the charity streams I'm doing. And I think that'll be that'll be a lot of fun. Her own says you are kind of famous. You have the best jokes on Joe Hill streams. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say my jokes are the best. I would certainly say they are jokes. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know me from Joe Hills streams, Joe Hills is a uh, a Minecrafter who plays on the Hermitcraft server. Hopefully you've heard of it. If you haven't heard of Hermitcraft, please check it out. Everyone's finishing up their end of season seven of Hermitcraft and they will be starting season eight soon. So now is a wonderful time to join the community and other fan spaces involved. Um, Joe Hills is one of the her hermits who had joined early on. He was joined in about five weeks into the first season, I believe. And I have been viewing his content for the past 15 months, I believe. I've been a Patreon supporter of his. Um, his community welcomed me with open arms, and uh, one of my favorite things to do in his streams were to unfortunately bother Joe and everyone in chat by uh, tipping him with really bad jokes. <laughs> Mr. Lance says, no, they are the best jokes. <laughs> My jokes are quite silly. Uh, Tommy, your jokes bring so many people so much joy. You're affiliated through his streams, a hermit. Oh, I am definitely nowhere near affiliated. <laughs> uh, but I, I have been given so much support. Marissa Rawl, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um... But I really am thankful for every everybody who not only comes to the streams, but of course also donates and everyone who just says hi and lurks and, you know, just shows their support even through the Discord servers where I advertise my streams. Anyone who reacts with like a little heart emoji, that really does make my day. Um, do you often stream at this time? Um, so I have a day job. So during weekdays, I do stream at 7 p.m. Uh, CST, that's Central Standard Time. Um, during the weekends, I will probably be streaming at earlier times, probably for a little bit longer, just because, you know, I have a day job, so weekends I I have uh, more availability for more streams. <laughs> um, Laura says, I've been trying to keep Tommy and Zug apart because I fear the jokes those two will team up on. Uh, I don't actually know who Zug is. Darth Vorson says, I started watching Joe's streams around the same time at around the same time that's wonderful um i started watching just pretty much at the start of season seven of hermitcraft uh and it was a lot it was a lot of fun <laughs> laura says good that means it's working laura you were only making me feel like i should you're only compelling me that's the word compelling me to find out who zug is <laughs> i just watched their videos hey that's fine too Showing support in any way you can, uh, no matter how small you may think it is, is always welcome and appreciated. Mermaid Meller says, I like the way you articulate yourself. Oh, thank you. I feel like my speech pattern is a hot mess. And also, Mermaid Mellers, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Big words. Which word was big? Was it compelled? I don't feel like compelled is a big word. <laughs> Articulate. Articulate is a big word, and that I do enjoy. Uh, some some words are too big, <laughs> and some words are just right. Um, boo, my plan isn't working right. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that, Mahis. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know, and I will do my best. It's water physics. Which part of the water physics? Did you want it to just go around and it's not going around? I hear villagers. Um, Michael, I believe those are actually pillagers you're hearing. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Hmm. Have you tried? Um, I was going to say making it all ice, but it is already all ice. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not the best with Minecraft mechanics. Um, uh, blue ice too. Yeah, blue ice is the fastest too. You're right. Hmm. I feel like the only real way you'd be able to get this in a way you want signs instead of fences. Uh, I don't think the fences are the problems because they technically don't have hitboxes when they're open. Offset by one. Pressure plates. Oh, pressure plates is a good suggestion too. What I think what's happening is the armor stand uh, is getting pushed by this water before it gets all the way into the water and then it gets stuck on this block. That's what's happening. So ideally you would want the water to push it all the way in and then have it push out. Shala says, hi, I've been lurking. Well, hi, thank you for lurking. Also, hi, Badger's Banner. Thank you for coming to the stream. Oh, there I go. For anyone who isn't familiar with Badger Spanner, she is one of the regulars in Joe's streams. She is very lovely, and everyone should say hi to Badger. Well, <laughs> not quite. Shala says, I think if the water stream started around the corner, it would work. Instead of in the corner. So what if... Oops. Break that. Try that. Ta -da! Although it needs a little more oomph to get all the way, I think. Although actually this isn't a source, so it's, well it, it is a source, it's not flowing water, so it's going to get stuck in there, I think. Aha! Now we're thinking. There's no ice in this section here. Okay. So, uh oh. There we go. That one is like there. Okay. That should work now. We're in business. <laughs> Thank you for the help chat. All right, we spent a lot of time in that plot. Ooh, oh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wow. Push comes to shove, just use a villager in a minecart. <laughs> True. <laughs> Well, you're being a little bit rude with that. Oh, I don't want that. <laughs> no problem, Melons. That's really smart. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Everyone is doing such a great job. I already love everything that's going on here. Shala says, I love that you chose an axe over a sword. Oh, I pulled out the axe because it deals more damage than, <laughs> you know, just wanted to get rid of that guy quickly. Oh, <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs> Interesting. Shala, thank you for the follow. We do still have one empty plot left. Uh, there was some other people who had wanted to attend, so it's a little unfortunate that they're not here. Um, I'm going to check Discord really quick. Yeah, some people had wanted to join and they weren't able to, but that's okay. I know I'm here hosting. Um, I I just I, I feel sad that there's still one one plot that's not being filled. Chat, should I should I build the float as well? Just so we don't have a lonely plot. I have two yeses so far. I have three yeses. <laughs> you know, three is plenty enough for me. <laughs> I just want to participate in my own contest. I feel like that should be allowed. <laughs> I, you know, I'm going to take some chat participation for this one so people who can, can be a part of that. So, um, give me some blocks you want me to use. Some, some blocks that we can put in, into the plot. Uh, one person has said coal block. Oh, I've heard a noise. I investigate. Anonymous donates $10 with a heart as the comment. Thank you so much for the donation. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Badger Spanner says copper. Um, there is a lot of copper blocks, Badger. Uh, do you want any one in particular or do you just want the plain block of copper? My choice. Well, if it's my choice, I'm going with oxidized copper because I love teal colors. Uh, Quail has given more block suggestions. I'm going to limit it to one block per per viewer just because I want everybody to get a chance to participate. Democrate asks, are we giving purposefully terrible block palette? You can give whatever blocks you like. If you want me to build with sponge, I will build with sponge. <laughs> and I promise it won't look good. <laughs> Shala says, I only started playing Minecraft in January, so building contests freak me out. I'm also very nervous performing in front of people. Oh, I understand that. It can be very scary talking in front of a bunch of people. Uh, sometimes I pretend I'm only talking to myself, like, like a little crazy person. <laughs> Devin Great says, magenta concrete powder. Excellent choice. Magenta concrete powder, cool. Rubric of course had to say sponge, <laughs> one of the hardest blocks to build with. <laughs> um, I do love concrete. That's true. Concrete is one of my favorite blocks in Minecraft just because it's just so bright and vibrant and it's lovely. Uh, on Joe Hill's Patreon server, not this one, but the actual server, that's that's not the snapshot one, I own a concrete shop and, uh, you know, I think it's a good business. <laughs> All right. Any more block suggestions before I start? I'm still open to suggestions. I only have four after all. It's not quite a lot to work with. <laughs> Uh, 
Desire Fire says, I buy from it so much. Well, you know, <laughs> you need concrete? One stop shop, baby. <laughs> I'm going to pick a block for myself. I think I, I, I get to do that. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure which one I want. Devin Crate says, my base is a hole made of dirt. Everyone's first base is usually a hole made of dirt. And you know what? That's the best kind of base, the starter one. How's that? Nice and even. Perfect. Tegzy says water. Um, I'm a little scared of building with water when everything around me is made out of concrete powder. So I might refrain from water if, if it can be avoided, uh, at least for the time being. So we're facing west for building, right? Yes, perfect. Let's see. We'll have a lovely sponge base. <laughs> I might want to bring that in just a smidge. My goodness. Okay. Also, let me know if the audio is too loud because every time after I stream and people watch the VODs, someone says, oh, you were too quiet. Oh, this was too loud. And I cannot hear it as I'm live. So anybody who can just let me know, say, hey, you're too loud. I would appreciate that. You know, Tegzi, you said to build with water and I'm now realizing that might be a hard a hard task with sponge. <laughs> Badger says it's a good balance right now. Oh, perfect. Quail says you and Minecraft and Twitch noises are perfectly balanced. Oh, good. I'm not going to touch the settings then. And then come tomorrow's stream, someone's going to say, mm, I don't know, you're too loud. <laughs> Perfect base to a float. <laughs> All sponge. <laughs> Let's see, how else do I want to do this? Let's take a quick second to stop and appreciate everybody else's builds for a second again. Oh, there's definitely a pun there somewhere. Float, sponge, it's too easy. <laughs> He comes over as I play Sponge. Interesting choice, Tegzy. <laughs> Ooh. My goodness, this is so cool. Oh. Oh, this is lovely. Ooh, fun with entities. <laughs> I 
Hmm. You know, I, I didn't come in here expecting to build, so I don't really have any ideas handy. <laughs> Maybe a trim. Now it's a little thicker, okay. Vin making achievements. <laughs> I'm trying to think of floats I've seen, like, you know, like Thanksgiving parades and such. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Welcome back, Tegzy. <laughs> Let's see. How much time is left? Good question. We are just about at 8 o'clock my time at CST. Um, I did plan on stopping about 8.30, so we have roughly half an hour left for building. Laura says, I have questions about your ma your material of choice, my friend. Uh, Mermaid Meller says, it looks like it could be a, an El Camino. I don't know what El Camino is. Um, you see, the sponge wasn't quite my choice. <laughs> it could just be the first, second, and third place winner's podium. <laughs> I mean, it could be. There is technically nothing stopping that. You know what? I like that idea. We'll go with that. SpongeBob prison. No, no, not quite. Unfortunately. Then, let's see, get some red, we already have lots of yellow, um, get some dark green, now that's very Christmassy, <laughs> orange, some purple, some pink, some light blue, we can do a white, and let's see, mm, I like gray, sure, why not? My sponges just saved me from ruining the plot. Excellent work, Tegzy. Someone's setting off fireworks in the distance. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll do some more over here. I'm 
Vin calls them flyer works. Get it? It's because she's flying around doing it. Then Now we get rain. Rain on our parade. <laughs> I'd turn off the rain if I could, guys. Sorry. Two more color spots left. Let's see, we'll go with a nice yellow and cyan. I did see two or did I see one? Oh, just one. Yellow it is. There we go. Parades need a willing crew, you know. Fair enough. Oh, I don't know that achievement. Make the text of a sign glow. Oh, that's the new... um. Glow item frames. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Maybe some fence. Blue, crimson, and birch. Perfect. Normal colors that any sane person would use to build with. Two. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. If everybody sleeps real quick, we might be able to sleep the rain away. Oh, that's a good idea. Boop. <laughs> so Laura says, Tommy, I love you, but those colors are like the tortellini that has spinach and tomato ones. Uh, Laura, thank you for that wonderful comment. They, these color choices were not mine. <laughs> I took some co suggestions from the community. Pasta pride. Badger gets it. Who's not in? Let's see. Stellar's in bed. Melon's in bed. Tegsy's in bed. I'm in bed. Michael's in bed, Vin's in bed, Rubrik's in bed, Desirefire's in bed. Ah, it was NJ. <laughs> no worries, NJ. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Very chaotic. I love it. I still have some blocks to use. Okay. What if? What if? What if? What if? Hello. <laughs> Can't quite put it here because it'll fall down. A wonderful sound. Hang on, I want that again. Oh, I love sounds. I could put string under it. <gasps> That's true. Thank you for the idea. That's really good. String. It's a string thing. There's a button there, so that'll hold it up there. Too far. Okay. Aha. Oops. <laughs> okay, okay. Minecraft logic. <laughs> string underneath. That's all of it. Oops. <laughs> Time. It is just about 810, so we have about 20 minutes left for building, guys. We'll take another quick look down the line. And Hey, everyone is doing a fantastic job so far. I love everything that everyone's got going on right now. It's a good thing I'm not actually competing because this is pitiful in comparison. <laughs> it's also off center, I've just seen. Vinternet, why? <laughs> Vin is having internet issues or Vinternet. Okay. 
They didn't really use the coal block so much, but that's okay. Oh, you know what? There we go. Oops. <laughs> there we are. And then... the recipe yes oh I need more gunpowder oops okay and then you do I've forgotten how to do this, honestly, so hopefully. Hmm. It's been a hot minute since I've had to do this, guys. Oh. Okay. No. Also, no. <laughs> yes. Okay, so then we can make it even better. Bear with me. <laughs> no, I already have it. Um, that. Get some of these and some of these. Boop and boop. And boop. Okay. Laura says, this is like when I was trying to remember how to make a painting earlier. Yeah, it's hard to remember every single recipe in the game. there <laughs> three then one then two do it like that and then then okay instead of that we did like that Yes, perfect. Okay. Then 
Oops. And then you. Perfect. I'm going to test that and make sure that that's something that'll actually work. How much time is left? NJ, we have about 13 minutes left. Let me type that in the chat. Ooh. Don't actually have exams. There we go. Lovely. It's, it's very modest. <laughs> it's not the best float, but it's the float we have. <laughs> I'm trying not to look anymore at the rest of the floats because I want everything to be revealed at the final judging. <laughs> Let's see. Adds a little more life, I think. What else can I do for just a touch more pizzazz? <laughs> Any suggestions from chat? Just a little, a little something just to make it a little more fun. I forgot we have the we have some new blocks from 1.17 let's see
ambiance. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of glow ink. This stuff rocks. Um, I haven't done too much with the glow ink, so I can't wait to see what you've got. <gasps> Ooh, excellent idea, Grace Winder. Let's see. to be like hang on I can do this <laughs> like that just a very interesting and fun table <laughs> oh that's a better idea Was this one always missing? I feel like it wasn't. <laughs> we'll go with lime. This is a completely normal float. <laughs> Very standard. <laughs> Let's see. Any other last minute touches we can do? I feel like we're pretty solid on, on everything. If chat has any last minute suggestions for our communal float, I am still taking them. Tegzi says, your float looks surprisingly not horrific given the blocks. Well, thank you, Tegzi. I try. <laughs> Vin is having more of internet issues. I mean, I'm pretty content with it, guys. What do you think? Any other, any other last minute suggestions? I'd love to take them. We do have about... minute scroll see if anything strikes my fancy put water and fish into all the boxes hmm that will turn the powder into into solid concrete and I don't want to do that because it was specifically requested for it to be magenta concrete powder okay let's see what can I work with here I was also told, oh, and the sponges would absorb all the water. That's true. Let's see. What if we did, hang on. Do, do, do. I don't want to put, like, I want to, I want to put entities in there because I feel like that'd be fun, but I have to pick them carefully. <gasps> Ooh. They need water to survive, don't they, chat? The axolotl. What 
I'd rather you be in that one, honestly. Boop. Um. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not underneath. Come on, little guy. Uh oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're so fast. Why? <laughs> He's got the zoomies. Come on, come on. Up we go, little buddy. Up we go, little buddy. I don't want to hurt you. Come on. You are a very bad listener. Hold still. Okay. Oh. This is a dangerous game. No. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I just want one of each color in the pens. I feel like that would be very nice. And they had to ruin that for me. Hmm. See the pink one. Come on. Come for zoomies in here. Perfect. And oh, there you go, little buddy. I'm pretty sure there's a blue one, too. There's a yellow. Perfect. You can stay in here too. Please be a blue one. Oh. No. Isn't there like a darker blue one than this one? Ah. Uh oh. Oh, there's a brown one. I think I should stop spawning in so many. Ah. Hi. You're just so zoomy. Okay. I shouldn't have, I should have put the water first. Oh no. Oh no, they are everywhere. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh no. Okay, um, um, um. Okay, hang on. You in here. Pretty please. There we go. Um. You know what? The rest of them will be... Oh, no, 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 no. Thought I put him down. Oh, no. <laughs> this is awful. Ah, wait. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Oh, the sponge. Wait, where'd he go? How'd you get back in here? Unless you're a different one? Oh, and now the sponge is all wet. Oh, there you go. Had it. You know, I think I will stop messing with the axolotls and they, yeah. <laughs> okay, time's up.
Oops. <laughs> that is quite loud. Quite loud, please. <laughs> I'm going to turn off the music because it's oh music. Um there we go. Just because that was very loud in my ears. Okay. <laughs> Blocks down! <laughs> Okay, we're going to be starting at the westmost end, because in my eyes, that's it's, 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 that's the first one, because this is the one leading the parade. So, if everybody would like to gather over at the first, the first, the first plot, um, we're going to get started on the judging. Oh. Onward and Upward by Stellar Spider. Stellar Spider, would you like to, to give us a little show and tell about, about your float? Where is the button? Ah, yes. Stellar, if you'd like to do the honors of putting down the walls, just come back behind here. Oop. Pull the lever. Woo. Uh-oh. My redstone's a little broken. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Let's see. I worked so hard on this redstone and it is just a little bit broken, but that is okay. Hang on. I can't actually access it because it is now all full of this. So let's see. Um <laughs> Goodness. Professional stream, everybody. Oops. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Ah. It worked flawlessly and there was no redstone issues whatsoever at all. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. So the Stellar Spider says, I've been playing a lot with rainbows in Minecraft lately and I wanted to do an upward pointed arrow. I like the use of the end rods and the spore flowers just coming up and having all the spore particles in the air everywhere. Oh. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Totally perfectly fine working redstone. <laughs> oh. I don't know if this is supposed to be Greek poets or it's something Greek poeties. I'm very bad with words. Stellar Spider says, and then the sheep are all named after famous LGBT plus historical and contemporary figures. So here we have Sappho of Lesbos, the OG lesbian. And some cake and candles. Irish author and playwright Oscar Wilde. Imprisoned for indecency and wrote The Ballad of Reading Gowl. I'm very bad with words. Please, I'm sorry. Oh, no. American politician, first openly gay elected official, Harvey Milk. African American activist and drag queen, Marsha P. Johnson, leader in the Stonewall Uprising. Jewish American astronomer and activist, Frank Kameni, first LGBT plus civil rights claim in U.S. court. American actor, author, screenwriter, and activist, James... Lessons? Lessons? Oh dear, I'm very bad with this. Founded the Trevor Pro Project. The Trevor Project, if you haven't heard of it, is another wonderful charity. Um, it's a very popular charity from what I can tell, at least in the LGBT community. Uh, it, it gets shown so much support. Uh, so if you are looking for other charities to support during Pride Month, I do recommend the Trevor Project. There's just... There was a lot of history and just it's 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 a simple float. It's an arrow. It's got the colors, but it's it's got history, and this is just very well done. And I do I do love this a lot, Stellar Spider. Okay, we gotta keep things moving along because we have to get through everybody before before um, we have to end stream. So we're we're gonna Stellar says, and I hope we can all aspire to learn from them and make them proud. I could not agree with you more. We're going next. I believe this one is Vins. 
the Ook beer float hive in Shoken. So Vin, if for those not familiar with her, is quite the musician. And here we have what is probably a, a ukulele, just by the name of the sign. Um, it's also got a root beer float. <laughs> We've got some colored signs. Vin's got some fireworks. Oh, these are lovely. Vin, is there anything you wanted to say for your float? Just fireworks? <laughs> I like root beer. You know what? Excellent, excellent. We also forgot to bring down the walls on this one. Vin, do you want to bring down the walls for your for your plot? And hopefully the redstone will work flawlessly as intended. Vin. Oh, hello, invisible person. <laughs> down it goes. Oh, perfectly working redstone for real this time. <laughs> Flawless. Okay, who's next? We're, we're going to do it proper this time by actually starting with knocking down the walls, I think. So whoever is next in line, please head to the front slash back. <laughs> There's a lovely little lever, so enticing for you to pull to reveal your float. And Jay, if you're the one who's next in the in the parade, then yes, yes. On the back on the back street or the front street, I guess it depends on your perspective. <laughs> there is a lever you can pull that will uh, bring down the walls and show off your float. NJ says, this here is what I always say to those in the community. You are seen, you are valid, you are loved. I am just really quick going to pull this down. More perfectly working redstone. <laughs> So there are people on the float waving at you. Oh, that's so cute. I love how they all have the turtle shell helmets. That's so cute. <laughs> There's a check mark like on Twitter and of course a heart. <laughs> NJ, is your float verified on, on Twitter? <laughs> turtle hats, high fashion, that's right. LGBTQ people are Twitter verified. You heard it here first. Yes, everyone gets to be verified on Twitter. <laughs> okay, are we ready to move on to the next float? We do have 20 minutes left to finish viewing everybody, and I want to make sure we get to everyone. Next up, we have Desire Fire. Excellent. I'm trying to go around to the other side. Desire Fire, if you'd like, we have a nice lever back here. So enticing. Definitely want to pull the lever back here. An excellent lever. Yes, yes. Oh, I love your skin, by the way. Okay, and here we have... Oh, see, this one works. <laughs> Every other redstone mechanism will work for this, apparently. Okay, how can you support LGBTQIA plus people? Foster and adopt LGBTQIA plus youth and affirm their identities. Donate time and money to people of color who are LGBT, oops, sorry, QIA plus organizations and listen to trans women of color. Honestly, Desire Fire has the right idea here. The most important thing you can do to support people 
are the really the simplest and easiest things just you know fostering fostering those in need affirming identities donating time and money to especially um people of color funded organizations and listening to trans women of color because if it weren't for the trans women of color in the community we wouldn't have come as far as we have today stonewall being one of the prime examples of this We have a nice trans arc with some glow berries. And then a beautiful garden themed union. Oh, is it like a little wedding? It's a wedding. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. <laughs> NJ's got the turtle helmet on. <laughs> NJ has high fashion. <laughs> a polyamorous union taking place on the pride float. All members are trans and wanted to celebrate their love. That's beautiful. Everyone's got such wonderful, wonderful floats so far. Okay, we, we, we still have a lot to get through, though. We're, we're only about um, four, four out of ten in, so we're about 40% done. Rubric, are you next? Would you like to pull your lover? <laughs> I have to work on my redstone skills, obviously. Oh, jeez. So this is Rubrics Float. We have a lot to look at here. Oh, I love the candle lights as blinkers. Yeah, every other the redstone lines must have been interfering with each other. So some something's being powered while something else isn't being powered. Rubrics says this is my float with a blue screen room inside. Oh, we can go inside. Be aware of the blue screen room. <laughs> Oh, and there's fireworks to go with it. I'm just trying to make sure I get a look at everything so everyone can see. There's the flowers at the top. We have like, oh, like they're not just archways. It's like streamers kind of, I think. Maybe. Am I interpreting that right? And we have some lovely <laughs> parade float drivers in the front. Very rich ones if they've got ancient debris. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Where's the exit? Oh god. <laughs> Desire, help me, I'm lost. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Be aware is correct. Whew. Be aware or beware. <laughs> okay, okay. I think Tegzy is the one who's next. Tegzy, would you like to to pull the lever? And hopefully this will work. Down it goes. Oh, Tegzy's got some nice heart-shaped balloons. We also have a parrot up here. Several parrots, ooh. Tegzi says, I didn't have any big plan, I just wanted to celebrate Arrow Pride a bunch. Yes, this is aromantic for those who aren't aware of the pride flags. We have a an aromantic rainbow with, with some hearts, balloons, and the parrots. Arrow people are often underrepresented, so I put it as many arrow colors as possible. That's wonderful. There's so many identities under under the queer umbrellas that it's harder for everyone to get represented as they deserve to be. So thank you, Tegzi, for for being here to help represent more people. Also, parrot, <laughs> arrow parrot. <laughs> I do have music turned off at the moment just because it was getting a little loud for me. So. 
We have a silent party here with the parrot. All right, we've got less than 15 minutes left. I still want to make sure we get to everybody and have time to finish judging. So we're going to scooch on along to the next one. Who's next in the line? We have a lever for you to pull to unveil your beautiful, beautiful float. Down they go. We have the pan. <laughs> Non-binary, I'm a pun, asexual, afloat by melons away. So for anyone who's not in on the joke, this was pansexual pride for the flags. And melons away says, it's a pan pan. <laughs> pansexual, bisexual. All the other armor stands are labeled as well. Questioning, still valid and loved. Yes, people forget that the Q in LGBTQ plus can also stand for questioning as, long, as well as queer. For those in the community who are unsure of their identities but know they belong to the communities, questioning is a valid identity and you are always welcome in the community. Still in the closet, still valid and loved. Anybody who is in the closet and either aren't ready to come out or don't feel safe to come out, know that you are loved and you are welcome in the community. Then here we have genderqueer and panhandle <laughs> and polysexual. We have so many identities being represented here and I couldn't be more happy just to see everyone just really making sure everyone gets to feel like they're a part of this because pride is for everyone. Okay, Mahez, are you up next? Oh, see, this is the one we were helping work on earlier. We have what I like to think is a very fun float with, <laughs> we have all sorts of people dressed up in what could be costumes, <laughs> just having a grand old time going around this float. <laughs> they float on the float. <laughs> Mahez, did you have anything you wanted to say about your float? I had to redo the armor colors when I added the glass because the stands got bunched up. <laughs> yeah, if there's anything that's true, it's working with the mechanics of the game can be a little tricky. <laughs> I do see a bit of redstone here at the top. Did you have a display? Honestly, nothing big to say. I had fun making this. I'm glad you had fun. I had fireworks. They're gone. Oh, no. All right. Well, we can continue moving on to the next one. We are almost done with, with the parade going by. Uh, oh, you are quite invisible. That scared me. <laughs> Whoop. I believe this is Michael. <laughs> yep, Michael Socks. Another wonderful member of our community, Joe Hill's Patreon server. I love the design of the lightning rods and the signs. This is like the little lines for the barriers. Very expensive tires, though. <laughs> Oh, and he even made bleachers. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Is there anything you wanted to say for your for your for your float, Michael? I four work pig step out. Oh, okay, Vin. <laughs> I went for a more traditional style of parade float. I love it. Truck of some sort goes here. <laughs> Hang on, I can help with that. Michael, what do you think? I gave you a truck. <laughs> Check the trailer license plate.
pride. Oh, and it's, oh, look at that. That's so good. I love the glow, the glow ink making these just really pop. That's great. We have cakes with candles. Oh, we've got Jeb sheep. They change colors. Desire Fire says this float is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> They're Jeb sheep. I hadn't thought about using Jeb sheep either. That was so creative. All right. We have about eight minutes to finish wrapping up. So last and certainly least in my opinion, we have my very, very silly little float. <laughs> Uh, it is, it is made by the community. It was a group effort. I have a bunch of axolotls. I, I don't, did they all run to the water? I don't know where they've gone. I hope they're having a good time wherever they've gone. The sponge usage is absolutely revolutionary. An idea nobody would have considered. <laughs> Understandable. Yes, I do have the, the podiums filled with fireworks. They are... For the final judgments, we have, we're have we going to have first place at the top, and then we're going to have second place in the middle, and then third place over here to the left. Um, so I, I personally don't want to just, you know, pick out one person myself and say, yeah, you're the winner, you win pride, you know? That's not really the spirit of things here. That is a little bit loud for my tastes. Um, so... I feel like we should um, all collectively just because we're running out of time. I, so I wish we had more time for voting. <laughs> um, if everyone, not including your own float, <laughs> good luck judging this, Tommy. There are some amazing works of art here. <laughs> yes, I'm aware. Um, I want input from everybody watching and everybody in the game. Um, which floats do you think? Do you think? Uh, I don't want to say just one because that everyone's a winner. <laughs> In the most genuine way, way possible. Which floats? Which floats? We have first, second, and third. Um, in my own personal opinion, Stellar and Desire and and Tegzy are all my, on, on the top of my list because we, we had an educational float. We had just something truly unique with a polyamorous wedding or union, you could say on uh, underrepresented people getting representation. There's just so much going on, so much love, so much support. Uh, but this is a community. I want I want everybody I, I want everybody to win. <laughs> uh, but that's not how contests go. Um, we don't really have we have five minutes basically. <laughs> I really like Stellar and Mahes. Yes, everyone had such good floats. They're all so nice. It's really hard to just, you know, pick one and say, yep, you win. <laughs> oh, Mahes was really good too. Okay. Um, so the way I'm personally going to do it, in terms of just, just being educational and really meaning a lot to me a stellar spider and also desire fire um i would say solidly would get first place for me both of them tie honestly because it just knowing the history is so important behind pride because it is pride is a time to celebrate but it's also a time to to get educated to to learn the history that isn't really shared especially in like schools and such it's it's really hard to learn about these kinds of things without just doing like a google search you know like they don't teach you these things and they should because they are important parts to history and culture and with desires what i really enjoyed is just listing ways you can support people because anybody can slap a rainbow on a on a corporate logo and say yeah you're welcome here Anybody can do that, and it's more of an insult than it is anything else because there is no nothing behind those words. It it is 
there's no support there. And then Tegzi, representing people who don't get enough representation, who are often told that their identities are just a phase or they're not real or even the people who turn their backs on their own communities and think that like asexuals and aromantics don't belong to the LGBT plus community. They couldn't be so, so wrong. Like everybody, no matter how they identify, is welcome. Everyone gets to be a part of this community community stellar spider says i'm voting tegzy because of personal representation i i strongly agree with you there so and then just out of pure creativity I, my has has done a fun fun job here i love the glass and the con i'm very partial to concrete <laughs> and says i'm voting for the pun and the arrow see every everyone's floats were so good and michael's Oh, everyone had such everyone had such a good 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 float I'm a fan of Tegzi it also looks like it could be a real life float that is you know I think I'm going to say I think Tegzi deserves first place because it is just such a, a fun float it's got such great representation for people who aren't usually recognized in their own community. And it's it's just a great float. There's just, what's not to love about this? And then tied for second place for me is Stellar Spider and Desire Fire, just because they, they both have done an incredible, incredible job. And third place for me, uh, I will have to go with Mahes because this is just so fun and so colorful and so lovely. And it's, if, what is, what is, what is more important than just being able to come together as a community and just have fun? If everyone would like to come to the last float, the unfortunately <laughs> worst float in my opinion, um, we can take some screenshots if everyone likes before we end the stream because we will be ending in just a moment. So I would love to get a screenshot with everybody behind me. I'm, I want everyone behind me so I can take a good screenshot. Is everybody here? Hang on, I can't tell. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight. Is everybody here? I can't tell. <laughs> Are we missing anybody? I think we're all here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Oh, Tegzi, I can't see you. There we go. Get a few different angles in here. <laughs> Mobs are included too, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. This was so much fun. I am so glad everybody came out today. I hope everybody had a lot of fun building. Thank you guys for coming. This was a lovely parade. And we do have... Uh, I would recommend everybody take some screenshots, if, if you haven't already, of your floats and just save them because these are all lovely. Yes, yes, I'm very glad I could host this. I had so much fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, Michael says we can get one of everyone on the bleachers. That's a good idea, too. Just because everyone will all fit together. Oh. A little more scoochy scooch. All right, we're going to end stream here on the bleachers if everyone would like to come and have a little seat. <laughs> <laughs> Max Loth, thank you for the follow. Is everybody here? I can't tell. <laughs> There's so many people. Oh, and now I have a pumpkin. <laughs> there we go. Now everyone's here. 
again, thank you everybody who came to the stream. Thank you for everybody who came to build in the build competition. I hope you guys had a bunch of fun. I also had so much fun. And thank you so, so, so much to everybody who donated tonight. I will continue streaming every day for the rest of the month of June. We're going to raise as much awareness and support as we can for Trans Lifeline. Vin says, I came like three times and Vinternet rubber banded me away. Oh, sorry about that, Vin. Yes, but um, I hope everybody had a lot of fun. We are going to go off and raid. Uh, my plan was to raid Joe, so so long as that's working because I was having a little trouble. Is Joe not live? Is it a little early for it to be for Joe to be live? That was my plan. I might have to stall for a little bit if he's not live yet. <laughs> That was that was my plan. <laughs> he really should be going live any moment now. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Matt has says, I think Joe was watching and waiting for you. He's on now? Oh. And I think I have to refresh my page then. It hasn't loaded for me. Oh, it hasn't really loaded for me yet. Oh, dear. Let's see. Let's see. It's saying no results found. That's concerning. <laughs> I am an expert streamer, everybody. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Joe was hosting for a bit. Yes, he was hosting. He's live on YouTube. Is he not going live on Twitch tonight? Uh oh. The Twitch notification hasn't come through yet, only the YouTube one. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can just force the raid to go through anyways. If I do raid Joe Hills, does that work? There we go, I did it. <laughs> Perfect, I'm an expert. <laughs> Again, thank you everyone who came. Thank you to everyone who donated. Um, I will be streaming the rest of the month. Please enjoy Joe's stream. Uh, make sure to say hi for me and I will see you guys in his stream.